Nothing quite like that feeling of seeing the really expensive thing you just bought become obsolete. Hey, Church here with Rest and Rec, bringing you another video regarding my full face mask. Last year I bought this full face mask with the sole intention of being able to talk underwater while filming. It's, uh, it's a very interesting experience. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. And since that time, I have still not been able to figure out how to do that. Gaming with Jacoby. How do you record audio from your radio system for video like this? Scoobaverse. On a hardwired recorder in housing. <laughs> Worst British accent ever, I know. Me, at Scoobaverse. Sir, I can't find the housing you're talking about. Can you link it? Scoobaverse. Hi, yes, sorry, it's a homemade housing from Perspex. What the heck is Perspex? Oh, it's just a fancy way of saying plastic. Yeah, real helpful. All right, then, keep your secrets. Good. Scoobaverse, if you want to get a video that's going to make a million views, tell the world how you did that. But I'll tell you what I really want for these videos is one of these masks that they use on BBC documentaries where they can talk and you can see their entire face. If anybody knows what brand these full face masks are, please let me know in the comments. All right, enough of that. On to the how-to. All right, now I know this Ocean Reef full face mask is now a generation behind, but by the looks of the Neptune 3, the space extender and attaching points look the same. So this video will be applicable to both. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to attach a lighting system and a GoPro to your full face mask. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. The easiest way is to buy some standard action camera adhesive mounts. The earphone supports that come with the space extender kit are the best way to install lights. As long as you aren't using a comm system. Now, the other way to do this is with the camera and torch support by Ocean Reef. The reason I went with this rather than the standard mount is the fact that it's fully compatible with other mounts, it screws in rather than using adhesive, and there is a quick disconnect for the light cradle portion. The downside to this is these are expensive. I think they're like 40 or $50, something crazy like that. To install this, first you need to remove the friction bolt and swivel portion of the camera and torch support. Next, you need to drill two small holes in the earphone support piece. Now, one cool thing that Ocean Reef did that made this a little bit easier was they put two small dimples on the earphone portion where you need to drill these holes. That way you don't have to do any measuring or centering. If you were installing this onto something else, just unscrew the screws and measure out where you need the holes to be. Just be mindful that the screws that come with this are small so the surface you plan to put this on needs to be pretty thin. Once you have your holes drilled, just screw it on and it's good to go. Rinse and repeat for the second side and I'll show you how to install these onto the space extender. To put the earphone support pieces on, first you need to remove the strap from the friction adapter. To do this, you pull on the plastic clip and pull the strap inward toward the mask lens. It's not an easy fit because of the shape of the strap end, but with enough force you can squeeze it through the metal retainer. Next, unscrew the two screws on the inside of the space extender. Then remove the plastic keeper on the inside, and this bit will come right off. Now, when you go to put the earphone support on, make sure that the little lip on the front catches the space extender before you push the screw holes through. Once you seat the earphone support and screw the plastic keeper back on, re-thread the strap through the friction adapter and you're set. And as far as the other side goes, just repeat these exact same steps and voila! Now, to demonstrate the adhesive method, I decided to put the action camera mount on top. As you can see, just like with the earphone support piece, this spot is in the same universal shape of the flat action camera mount. Adhesive mounts are pretty straightforward. I recommend using rubbing alcohol on both the mount and the extender before you put the adhesive strip on. When it comes to the adhesive strip, make sure the logoed side is always facing toward what you plan to stick the mount to. One 
pro tip I like to do when working with adhesive strips is bench clamp the two surfaces together to help the adhesive bond. All right, setting that aside for 24 hours, moving on to the light. This part is pretty straightforward. Get the light you want to use and zip tie it to the light saddle. And this was the moment that I realized that the zip ties that came with the camera and torch support are releasable and reusable zip ties. That's kind of cool. Once you have the zip ties where you want them, get some scissors or wire cutters and trim the excess. Reinstall the quick disconnect and attach the friction swivel onto the mask. Ah, pretty cool, huh? So something else that I added to the mask itself uh, Brian Stafford over at Lake Hickory Scuba Marina gave me this for Christmas. If you like this, Brian has an entire video dedicated to where to get one and how he came across them. Brian has his on his BCD, I have mine on my mask strap. Another thing I bought was a full face mask hood. This is a waterproof 10mm full face mask hood. It's specifically for the full face mask because it has the seal skin on the outside and the inside. That way it has that good seal that goes around your face and the mask. I was also asked in a previous video if I could demonstrate how to quickly remove the full face mask and switch to an alternate. Here's how you do it. So once you have it adjusted and on, there are little handles down here on both sides. All you have to do is get those, pull them forward, and the mask slips right off. That easy. And if you're in a pinch and you need to switch out quickly, I have my alternate around my neck. And if your full face mask has an issue, pull forward. And that's how you do that. Also, if you were curious as to how I equalize in this, see those two white bumps that are on the inside of the mouthpiece? That goes up underneath my nostrils, and whenever I need to equalize, I push the mask into my face, and that completely corks it off, and then I blow. That's equivalent to pinching my nostrils. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave it in the comments section below. I love answering questions. Also, if any of you know what full face mask that was that the BBC is using, please let me know that too. I, I genuinely cannot find that on the internet. In the meantime, if you want to help me and help out this channel, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. This has been Church with Rust and Rec. Take it easy.